Welcome back to my Jamaica series. Isn't it beautiful here? The trees, the fruit, the flowers, the sun, the beach, the people. I'm in love with this land. I'm always amazed when I come at how we just get to pick fruit off the tree and eat it. <laughs> I know I'm a nerd. Look at this cute bird's nest that I found. Isn't that adorable? And on my walks, I see all of this beautiful architecture with the floor just hanging all over the place. Majestic homes and estates. It's just like another world, really. You know, I love coconuts. And I literally can go in the back and pick one. Or when they come from, you know, take it from the ground. So I'm enjoying my stay here. It's beautiful, like I said. It's peaceful. It's restful. And each day as I go on my walk, I challenge myself to see something different. And to make sure that I make it back to the house. <laughs> I discovered all of these bananas out back. And this is my favorite flower so far. This beautiful pink hibiscus. This is the Aki tree that grows. It was three of them that grows here, actually. So we did um, have some that, you know, were ready to be picked. And we're going to make breakfast with it. Yes. So stay tuned for that video. Okay. So I'm having fun here. But guess what's not so fun? The freaking bugs here. And I forgot to bring my bug spray. And it is so expensive. I'm like, oh, Lord, what am I going to do? Because the mosquitoes absolutely love me. <laughs> so I decided to make my own. I figured I could try to make my own bug repellent and also my own um, soothing aloe vera gel for the bites because I wasn't quite successful in getting rid of the bugs before I got bitten. So you're going to see me do a very simple technique. Make sure when you go to the aloe vera plant that you are picking one that is healthy and ready to be used. You want to make sure you pick at the right time of the day. Aloe vera is like um, a plant that recalibrates your body's frequency. So it helps to turn off the negative and guards against any type of oppression helps with loneliness and you would keep a plant in the kitchen to help avoid accidents it is known as a superfood it can help you with constipation your skin issues intestine issues sunburn skin issues and you can also use it in your hair <laughs> i love this plant and you'll see me stripping it. You just cut the edges off and then cut one side off. And then you scoop out the gel. And it's just that simple. It can be a little bitter, so wash thoroughly any utensils that you're using, especially your blender. So you'll see me actually just whip it up by hand. Okay, so and um, you would put the aloe vera mixture, whether you're making a paste for your bug bites or if you're making gel for your hair, you would place that into the refrigerator and don't use it any longer than two weeks, I would say. With the hair gel, you blend it up very well and then you can add to that any type of essential oil that you may desire, you know, maybe some peppermint or eucalyptus or whatever your favorite essential oil may be. For the DIY bug spray, you're actually going to add in a few oils like orange oil, eucalyptus oil, peppermint oil, cinnamon oil that are good to repel the bugs. So what this does is kind of mask your smell so that the bugs don't smell you, okay? And um, I also have here some essential oil. Which one did I wanted to talk about a little bit? Oh, citronella is also great. And um, the bergamot tree that is here is also great. So you would, of course, make sure that you do add water to this mixture, mixture because essential oils can burn your skin. So you want to be careful about that aspect. So you just whip it up, you store it, 
and you will have something very soothing, especially in case you do get sunburn as well. This will help against that. So eucalyptus, lemon, cinnamon, all of those oils are great. If you want to plant um, some items in the garden to help combat the mosquitoes, you can try some basil, you can try the lavender plant. I love lavender. Akiva planted so many plants this year. I'm just adoring this garden. Um, so very simple. I'm leaving the recipe for the gel and for the skin mask for you here. So you can see what those look like. Make sure that you get rid of any standing water because mosquitoes are drawn to that. Also, did you know having a fan works wonders? So yes, get you a fan, honey, and turn the fan on somewhere in your vicinity, and it will actually help blow the mosquitoes away. So I think I covered everything. I have shown you the simple recipe to make your bug spray or your bug repellent, and you can wash the floors down as well with this or your curtains or your bed linen to kind of create a barrier. And then since we have the aloe vera, we don't want to waste it, go ahead and use some in your hair <laughs> to make a nice moisturizing hair gel. Well, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you're crafting. I have so much to show you while I'm here. Keep it crafty.